Well, welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Today we're continuing on with the last stage of the February 2023 Course of Fire for NRL 22. This one is called Love and Lead is in the Air. It's a 10 round stage, 120 second part time, some very small targets on this stage. Let's see the, what the course description says. On the start signal, the shooter will take a prone, supported position and engage the targets with one shot each as follows. Left, small target, right, small target, center, left, large target, right, large target. The shooter will repeat the sequence. All targets are hit or miss, move on. I'll put the target sizes down here. And what you'll notice is that those small targets, one inch at 90 yards, that is a very difficult target to hit. That is almost equivalent to like the half inch on the KYL at 35 yards, relatively speaking. Um, so that is tiny. And at further distances, as we all know, there's more environmental factors, there's more wind to deal with, so it's gonna be very difficult, especially since those are the first targets we're engaging, or the small ones. Sometimes when you engage the larger targets, you can get an idea of a wind hold, but this is gonna be an extremely challenging stage, so don't get discouraged. Luckily, it's prone, which should be, relatively speaking, the most uh, supported, most stable position for most people. Probably most people have the most uh, experience with prone shooting. Um, and there's not really much to talk about in terms of technique here. It's just take your time. It's just one position, go prone, take your time, really try and pace your shots. It's 10 shots, so you really have like, let's, let's say it takes you even uh, 20 seconds to get down to a nice comfortable prone position. You have 10 seconds per shot to find and engage each target. That's a, lot, that's a long time, uh, you know, count, count to 10 in your head and, and you, know, that's, you have enough time to engage a target, so make the hits count. And uh, essentially, the only tip I can give you for this stage, because on the diagram, the targets are supposed to be 10 yards apart, um, it's not a lot of movement, but what I would do when the stage goes off, timer goes beep, I'm going to line my rifle up with the right target if I'm a right-handed shooter. If I'm a left-handed shooter, I'm gonna line it up with the left target. Now I know we're engaging the left target first, but you want to, if you're a right-handed shooter, line it up with the right target. If you're a left-handed shooter, line up with the left target. And then I'm gonna come onto the rifle. And again, I'm taking my time here. I have plenty of time. And by doing this, so I'm straight in line with the right target, all I have to do is push with my shoulder. I'm pushing just with my shoulder to find the left target. So I'm just going to push and there it is. Now, if I'm lined up center, you know, it, it might be a little bit more uncomfortable. And if, if I start with the first target, I'm a right-handed shooter and I'm left, it's really awkward coming back across your body like this. See how unsettled my body position is right now? Just by trying to move the rifle to the left, it's so much more natural to point the rifle at the target of the same direction as the shoulder that you're gonna put the rifle on. So I'm gonna shoulder the rifle on the right because I'm a right-handed shooter. And this is so much easier, it's just a slight push. And then I can take the bag, left hand, squeezing the bag for elevation. And I, when I push, I'm lifting, lifting the butt of the rifle and just moving it. So it's kind of like a find, find the right target. We have to go to the left target, so I'm gonna lift with my left hand, push with my shoulder, and I'm right there. You shouldn't be manipulating the rifle with your trigger hand. The only thing your trigger hand should be doing is actuating the trigger. That's why you see these vertical grips and these thumb rests, because you don't want any influence. The only movement you want is that right there. I don't want to be gripping this and steering the rifle with this hand. Everything else steers the rifle. This is for one thing and one thing only, pulling the trigger. So I'm here, I find the right target. I have to engage the left target. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift, push with my shoulder, Notice how this hand is not doing anything. It's not manipulating the rifle at all. Obviously, it can stay there, but I'm just showing you that nothing is happening with the right hand. Find the left target. We're settled. It's going to manipulate the bolt and engage. I guess there is one other thing your right hand has to do is actually cycle the bolt. But you get my point. You know, when, when you're ready to shoot, the only thing this hand should be doing should not be moving the rifle. It should only be actuating the trigger. So I hope that gives you some perspective in terms of some how you might improve some of your prone shooting techniques. And uh, this one's a doozy. Targets are small, so best of luck. I hope these videos helped. There'll be a whole playlist for all five stages of the Course of Fire. If they did, please leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you wanna see. 
Um, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications so you get updates. We've got a lot of crazy content coming down the pipeline. Uh, 2023 is going to be a big year for this channel. Um, viewers of the channel are like, what the heck is this rifle? You haven't talked about this the whole time you've been sitting there. Uh, so this is a new rifle build. Um, you know, we're going into detail on that. Kind of have it with the uh, Arizona flag colors. Kind of tried to make it kind of cool, represent the state. Um, so yeah, lots of fun stuff coming down the pipeline. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for sticking around. Share these videos with your friends. And as always, until I see you next time, score more points.